Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video we will go over IMR tier list that I made with my friend, good friend of mine and you all know him, one and only Ninja. Hello guys. So yeah Ninja you can say hi and yeah so give me a second. So yeah uh, we have like crap heroes in D, C and B tier, like D tier you will not use, same with uh, C tier, then when we go to B tier we have some pretty niche heroes like Greta, she steals buffs and deals ok damage, then we got Timmy that is a solid tank after rework and we have Quinlan, Seth, like those are okay hero for let's say early or uh, mid game but they they fall off pretty hard in late game, do you agree with that? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, like Margarita can still be used in cleave teams but we got like better heroes like Nita or even Melky after rework or Belton, Bull, so yeah. And we got Slatko, you can still use him to remove buffs but then again we have better heroes like Gilliman or even Melchior, so yeah. Uh, Alright, so A tier we have Nacelle, there is really nothing much to talk about, he CCs and, and freezes, so he's A tier, especially like he's not used that much in Classic Arena anymore, but in Championship or Advanced Arena he is still pr pretty much usable, and Guild Arena as well. So you agree with that Ninja, right? Yeah, I still use him in Advanced Arena and Guild Arena, actually almost every battle. I use him to counter space teams that do not have fall in him then or something. Yeah, of course. I, I even pair him with, with space thanks to Burness. He he advised me that and it's it works really, really well. Yeah, I pair mine with Catherine because I always usually just use it as a mirror matchup to counter enemy as healer. Oh, I something. see. Yeah. Uh, then we have Asinda, same story with Nacelle, she is not that usable in Classic Arena, but then in Advanced Arena, Guild Arena or Championship, she is very very usable. Yeah, she actually doesn't have that much use in Advanced Arena anymore, because she doesn't get an instant turn like Nacelle. Yeah, that's... In Championship, she is still available in there. Yeah, especially when you need to fit that uh, five teams, so... Yeah, five teams, uh, five teams is kind of hard to get yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, unless you're Kraken or Whale, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, s I used uh, my Asindo in, Gil in Guild Arena, but then I kind of stopped because I have so much heroes and I really yeah. cannot fit her in. Yeah, I just don't have any spare speed gear to put on her, so mine is like 2300 speed. <laughs> really slow. <laughs> yeah, m mine is fast but only for championship. Yeah. Uh, then we have then we have Belton, he shines at uh, E3, deals big yeah. amount of damage if you for especially for cleave team, he, he just nukes. He just nukes yeah. and yeah. I, 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 I love my Belton. So I you swapped my Margarita for Belton when I got my focus and he's been working like a charm lately. So you built him, right? Yeah, I gave him when I, I had him at E2, but I gave him to E3. I've been using him a lot. I like to cleave him when he can't get countered by anything. That that's true. And that's true. Yeah. So I I have him at E0. I will most likely build it tomorrow for championship because I need another uh, cleave team or or a rather yeah. speed team. Yeah, it's just uh, there's so many cleave team counters there lately. True. You can be the Nordak and True. It's yeah, it's really it's really hard, yeah. 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 Uh, then we have Bull, say same story with Belton for Cleave team, he deals yeah. insane amount of damage. Yeah, but you can like make a secondary cleave team with like Rister Ben and Yes. Bull and yes. So something like that. Yeah, he he hits really hard. Yeah, so he likes those uh, basic attacks. Yeah. He deals a lot of damage with them. True. And Brewster makes that happen. Yeah, like Brewster is, is so good addition to the game. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have Elsa. Elsa at E3 can be really tricky to deal with. 
because she puts yeah. immortal on every allies after one ally dies. So I was thinking to counter uh, Nita with my elf. I mean, I still I have her at E1, but I'm planning to make her E3 just to be able to counter Cliff teams. Yeah, she can also counter Cliff teams really hard because she gives the consolidation at the start. Of yes, each wave. true, true, and and that helps yeah. a lot as well. Yeah. So she's actually, I use like Elena in my Cliff teams to get rid of Elsa consolidation and like a set. Uh, tenacity buffs and sh such so I haven't really had the trouble playing against Elsa teams with my clear team but like I can understand that if you don't run a remover then she can counter those clear teams really hard yeah exactly so she's re really pain to deal with if you don't have any buff removal so that's yes. really uh, uh, kind of annoying you know yeah yeah so then Madlina I don't have her, but I heard she's decent, not great, but decent. Yeah, I haven't used her at all myself, but I've seen some clips in the Discord channels or something. Yeah, also... She can green health teams really hard and something like that. Yeah, she... I've seen some people use her perfect bicep and, and focus and yeah. things like that. So she she works for cleave teams. Yeah. Yeah, uh, then Gilliman... There is nothing much to talk about her. Cleave teams, yeah, cleave team as well. And hits. hits really hard, yes. Yeah. Especially with Shield Smash Aura and Esther. Yeah. The only downside there is that Nazil teams counter her. Yeah. At least on the yeah. autoplay. Yes, uh, unless you have E3 Esther and then Esther puts that uh, block yeah. debuff and then she cannot yeah. be CC'd. Yeah, but. If you don't but have Esther, uh, yeah, but yeah. you'd rather want the piercing buff. True. On her. True. So kinda only Nasil counters her. Yeah. Then we have Luna. Luna kinda fallen off, but since championship got introduced, she's kinda, I wouldn't say back, but sh p people use her in yeah. in teams. She I still have my Luna at E zero. She was the first mythic I took, but. I haven't really had much use for her. She doesn't really have any great gear on, but I think she needs E3 or E5 actually. Yeah, for end game, yeah, she needs like that. Yeah, I've seen some bigger players use her in championship, like E5 her and put her in a not clave team, but like the fifth or fourth team. And yeah, I yeah, mean, she she, she is decent. Yeah, she gives attack up, then cleanses, then turn uh, turn meter boost. So she's she's decent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we have Marvel. She's she's so good with uh, Nordak. Yeah, I hate those teams. I hate playing against them. I have no counters to that. Yeah, there like, there, there is Nordak no counter. Would, yeah, Nordak puts buffs up and Marvel puts the, uh, the block rim resist buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's really so painful to deal with. So the thing I used to do is I I used to have Pauline and like Ben Austin, then I yeah, remove, yeah. yeah, then first I use a basic attack from uh, Pauline and then I remove buffs uh, with my Ben Austin. But she's really pain, pain in the ass. It's, it's really, really yeah, hard to deal with her. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Lucifer, Lucifer kinda fallen off, like I have... Yeah, not uh, Lydia and heroes like that, Brynhild and... Yeah, like I have, I I have my Lucifer and she ca uh, he cannot even one shot anymore. Like yes, I yeah, put. Yeah, he needs some really good stats to actually do something. Yeah, like I mean those track and Lucifer, so you see them, they like leave the enemy team in yeah, like, three seconds. But yeah, that's right. I mean, I, yeah. my my Lucifer used to be used to have good gear, but then when I got uh, Lydia, uh, Ulcaster and Melchior, I just put good gear on them and I'm and my Lucifer has trash geared so yeah. Yeah. And I'm planning to switch my Lucifer to to Nita. Yeah, so probably do that. Nita is actually really good. Yeah and I need and I need need Nita to clear uh, Tower of Mark floor thirty. I'm well, you stuck. Still don't have if I Catherine. Yeah. Uh then Mamuk Mamuk like he's good but then Ben Austin counter scheme really hard yeah 
Oh, I mean, like, boost the uh, taunt and speed up, up but... Yeah. Uh, but but then if if enemy has that like buff removal, he is not gonna do anything. I mean, still yeah. he like puts I mean, shield when you take uh, I think thirty yeah. percent of max I HP. Some people used uh, mammoth to counter cleave them. Yeah, that that and could work too. Yeah. He still has the buff removal, which can be. Yeah, th that. Sometimes come in clutch and. True, true. So and he's. He counter single target teams who doesn't have. Yes, ex no, exactly. Really like hard. yes, like if you face Lucifer and they got no buff removal, you you just yeah, win because yeah. 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 Then we have my boy Ulcaster. He's one of my favorite heroes. I even used him as like when I started playing, he was my first uh, mythic hero. But I you I was using old one, not after uh, he got reworked. I was using all old, old Ulcaster. I actually don't remember what he did before his so uh, river. So on, on his first active skill he didn't have freeze, he only had uh, horrify. Oh, wow. And her p and his passive, he didn't have that uh, that new passive. He had just o o only passive that was like when he reduces below 50% HP, he, he got like that uh, Im Im immunity status and that was it pretty uh. much. So yeah, he, he was he bad. was pretty bad, yeah. But I I liked his kit. But the new Ulcaster is so good. Yeah. Like yeah, oh. he's really good because he can deal a lot of damage. He can CC the enemies and he can get those extra turns whenever he kills an enemy. And yes, and that he's got the damage immunity and he can yeah. revive if the and ally oh. with the buff kills an enemy. And yes, and also attack up on ultimate to other heroes. Yeah. And then paired with Santa Perma Freeze, that's what I'm yeah, using so currently. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have Melchio. Uh I, I, I saw many people complain about that he's still bad, like doesn't deal damage, but like I'm using him currently in my cleave team with uh, Esther and Rister and he's dealing so much damage. Uh, this is auto battle work because when I tried him in trial then he only used like his uh, skill yes, yes. So you kinda need to manual him, which is kinda yeah, pro pro problematic. Yeah, but if you're yeah. manualing him, he's he's a beast. Yeah, he does a lot of damage and removes yeah. the buffs or something. Yeah. So uh, when I see like Santa, Nordak, Brynhild, Pauline, I I just put my Melchior in, and he steals all the buffs, and they cannot do anything. But as I said, you need to manual him, otherwise... Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we have Rister, the, such a great hero. He's, yeah, he boosts the attack of the highest attack yes. ally, and he gives turn meter, he gives crit damage, he and stuns the enemy, prevents them from resurrection. Yes, and put, uh, puts defense down as well. Yeah, so he has a follow-up attack on his S1. Yeah, so... Really, really, really good hero, especially for cleave teams. Yeah. Uh, then, like, yeah, go go on. What did you want to say? Yeah, I was gonna say that I've seen a lot of people use him like with Nita and. Yep, yep. He, he, he's. Astra. Yeah, he's and he's and really they good. Save, like, yeah, people save buys it in and focus for like a second cleave team. So. Yeah. So with, for uh, for example, of, yeah, yeah. For example, I'm using Melchior with uh, my Esther and Rister, and then I will use Belton if I build him with uh, Focus and Bisadin. Yeah. Then we have uh, Elaina. Like at E3, she's she's decent. She's decent. So she she removes all buffs, puts uh, defense down. Then E2, she is reducing enemies' crit damage you take and increasing your crit damage. So she is perfect fit for cleave team, in my opinion. And then E3, yeah. she just put shield. That doesn't ma ma matter that much, but still a, yeah. a decent hero, f decent hero yeah. for PvP. There are so many new good heroes that kind of replace her, but I think she is still like one of the best. Old school suburbs yes, in the game. Yes, I, I have her E5 on my free to play and I'm not regretting <laughs> I'm not regretting it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. then Valentina, she's kinda new hero. I don't know if anyone unlocked her yet. Yeah, I don't think anyone has her yet. But yeah, like but from her, her reads yeah. really well. Yeah, so she's gonna be 
she will maybe go to S tier, but we need we need to like see people using yeah. her and test her out. So yeah, like yeah. she loses a lot of bleeds and freezes the enemy and yeah. puts like some unique buffs or debuffs and then and True. So we will see how we'll the effect resistance of the enemy and yeah, uh, she's she gonna be she gonna be massive for championship or uh, guild yeah. arena. Uh, then we have new hero, Itur, Aitur or whatever her name is. She's she seems solid, like great tank. Yeah. That that has like uh, seahorse status. That absorbs yeah. so much of damage, and then once uh, seahorse is dead, she gonna stun the attacker. I think. I've been seeing people use her in a like more tankier team with like Nordic and and Brynhild. Yeah, I, I I haven't uh, seen her with Maybe Brynhild. Brynhild. Yeah, so she is also kind of new, so not many people played her or even tested her. But she seems solid, so she is in A tier for that. Uh, then we have Andras. Personally, I don't have him, but I faced him a couple of times in Championship. And he deals he deals big amount of damage. Yeah, he does a massive amount of single target damage on his ultimate. I've seen people one shot Green Hills with Andres to like Santa's apple or something. He deals eight stages of damage, which yeah. I think it counts through apple. So yeah, it, yeah. Three can counter it. And then he on his S2 deals AoE damage, which is still quite a big hit and I mean, overall, he just deals a lot of damage. He doesn't really bring anything else, but uh, but, but yeah, that single target burst that sh that he can uh, like one shot Brin Hill is huge. He, it's it's, yeah. it's it's enough on its own to just one shot Brin Hill or any other hero. Yeah. Uh, then we have Focus. Nothing much to say about him. He just fits in Cleave team, and that's it, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, then we have Lucia. Lucia. Is okay, but also kind of fallen off in yeah, end she, game. I mean, she needs quite a lot of stats to work out. She builds completely different from PvP and yeah, PvE. But or PvP, she just wants yes, to but uh, she's like Lucifer, but with more self-sustain and yeah. When she gets going, yeah, she, like she's unstoppable. Yes, she can yeah. Also bring heal too. yeah, she can one shot bring heal and then she gets uh, extra turn. Then she uses ultimate again. Then one shots yeah. another hero. So yeah, she she's really great hero. But li like she you, she needs those few turns to stack up her passive. At yes, stuff, which yes. is kind of critical sometimes. Like sometimes the enemy just kills you on the first turn and you can't even get the first stack on your passive and. Yeah, uh, the her. exactly, and and you need like uh, good gear on her, so she's yeah, yeah. good gear. So she's more of a end game hero, like for yeah, for, er sure. yeah. for early game. Even if you get her, she will not do yeah, anything she, for you yeah, because she will, yeah, she's not really useless at the early game because yeah. you don't have to get her sanctuary or true talents. True. Uh, and now we go to S tier. First off, we have Agatha. There is nothing much to say. We all know. What Agatha does, she fits so well with Pauline or even a Nordak and deals yeah. insane amount of damage. Yeah, I use my Agatha in my Lydia team. I got all my best heroes in that team. Like, I just love my Agatha. Yeah, I mean, mine. It's so hard then. Mine. Her kit is actually yeah. quite good then. Yeah, I, I got my Agatha, but I mean, uh, she is decently built, but. I don't use her that much. I mean, obviously, I use her in uh, Guild Arena and Championship, but I yeah. I don't have the best stats either, but I still feel like she hits harder than my other DPS or something. Yeah, I mean, she hits hard, especially with Pauline, you know, she hits really, yeah. really hard. Yeah, at, at E2, I mean, E1, she can't get CC'd when she has a skill. Yeah, and that's so. that's huge, like, E1 is huge. Yeah. And then at E3, yeah. he, he has, she has revive and yeah, really hard to deal with. Allies and like every three turns and yeah, uh, E two isn't much sig much significance, but like E three, I've seen some people, some clips of it and yeah, the revive is actually pretty nice. Yes, for end game PvP, it's like really huge when people have tanky stats and you can't one shot any any heroes anymore. And 
Yeah, and it really become uh, become a pain to deal with her. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, then we have Ben Austin. She, he is great. He removes all buffs, and then everyone pursue the attack. So yeah. he, he is great. Yeah, just turn mid run. Yeah, like. he he is he is so great, especially like uh, paired with Lydia or Agatha. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, then we have space. There is also <laughs> nothing much to say about her. You just yeah. build her as fast as possible. Yeah, and boost the perimeter of allies and usually it was running a cleave team or something. Yeah, cleave team. Uh, then we have Esther. Oh, again, cleave team. Or even, I mean, you could use her yeah. in, in normal team, but pretty much everyone yeah, is using her. I've in. Seen, yeah. I've still seen someone use her with Brynhild or something. Yes, yes. Because uh, that Brynhild that can't get CC is so annoying to deal with. Like, yeah, that's it just gives just so many buffs and yeah, it's buffs and yeah, it's immunities to their allies. It's crazy. Yeah, so when you're facing that team, you need to kill Esther somehow first and then focus uh, Brynhild. Yeah, yeah, but Esther gets that huge tankiness when she in goes into that egg form and gives the ally a huge shield. And yeah, it's it's it's, it's really hard. Yeah, to it's get it's, it it's really hard to deal with her. Yeah. Uh, then we have Catherine. Counter attack up, consolidation, sh big shield, really nothing Every much. Most yeah. Easy from allies and yeah. heals a lot. And yeah, so she's still one yeah. of the best heroes in the game. And her E3 is massive, like she becomes yeah, a good. Terms and yeah, yeah. So she really becomes a beast at uh, E3. Then we have uh, Lydia, new limited hero. Yeah. She like she yeah she changed meta like Brynhild in yeah. classic arena became totally useless. Yeah, and is now invalid. Yeah, and kind of funny because I had like ten percent win rate against Brynhild teams priorly, but like now I have almost ninety percent or even more with my Lydia. But against other Lydia teams, like I can do almost anything. Ah uh, yeah, like uh, I still even so. Yeah, I I got it to Lydia, but again against other Lydia teams, it's it's kind of RNG who's Lydia gonna survive longer, pretty much, that's it. I really hate this Lydia meta because she makes those battles last so long. Yeah. Arena, or even classic arena, like autoing 10 battles takes like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something because those Lydia's. Yeah, it, it it takes so much time, and I I remember good old days when game came out. Everyone was using speed team, and you know. Yeah, the battles were so fast. Like, <laughs> just those days too. Yeah, same, same. I miss those day those days. Uh, then we have Pauline. Also, we all know what he does. Yeah. He he cleanses, then puts uh, defense up, tenacity up, re remove buffs on on her on his basic. And at, yeah, at each HP up and yeah, gives the uh, immunity to debuff for one turn and yeah, that it E three is huge. E three is so huge for PvP. Yeah, for sure. I st I still have mine E zero. I will finally get him E one <laughs> on anniversary. Nice. He was the first E three limited I got myself. Yeah, you were you I were lucky. lucky you were lucky. Yeah. yeah, I I got him really cheap. Yeah, I, I know many people got lucky with uh, with uh, Pauline uh, pulls. So many people yeah. got him uh, e three. Uh, then we have Nita. She's she's god in PvP PvE everywhere. She yeah. she's mo she's usable in in Cleave team. So with Rister as you said and Esther, yeah. and she just uh, one shots everything. Yeah, she's used with Brynhild teams too sometimes and yeah, sometimes even with Lydia teams, like she fits almost everywhere. Yeah, so and like if you want to counter Brynhild you just put uh, uh, her and Anton, so Anton yeah. then stuns uh, Brynhild and that's pretty much uh, game yeah. over. Like her kit is just so versatile. Yeah. Uh, then we have Popper, I wish I had that guy. Like Yeah, I don't have him either. Yeah, and he's he's so huge in in PvP. Like, yeah. like he he's he steals uh, termiter, he boosts his own termiter, then he puts yeah. defense defense down, then resistance yeah. down. So so he huge. Just feels so OP. 
Yeah, like my PvP team would be so much better if I had him. Yeah, same. I could maybe actually make it in the top 64 of championship. Yeah. If I had like some yeah. heroes like. Yeah, I, I feel like if I if I if I got an uh, E3 Esther, I will maybe be able to do it. But I I just got super unlucky. I mean, I got I got E5 uh, E5 Elec to be. I mean, I got E9 Elec, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is that. Uh, then we have Nordak. Nordak just a beast, both PvP PvE. His his shields are. Amazing that that damage immunity for two turns and block uh, block buffs for two turns is pretty pretty disgusting. Again, especially if you pair pair him with Marvel as we talked before, pretty much unkillable team, unkillable team. Yeah, like his passive boosts the HP of allies and gives the shield at the start of the battle and true. So or actually at the start of his every turn. And yeah. So for example, uh, Nordak, Agatha, Santa. Ben Austin and Marvel and pretty much yeah. <laughs> pretty yeah. disgusting yeah. team to yeah, face. Not really much to do against yeah. that team. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, then we have Brynhild. She has fallen off in Classic yeah. Arena, but she is still usable in 3v3 or Championship. Yeah, she used to be the, like the god of PvP, but now that Lydia came, then yeah, yeah she gets she countered by Lydia, but like. Cleave teams, she just one way fives, and like yeah. some other teams that do not have like CC, or even if Brynil is paired with Paulin, then she counters CC teams too. Like, only counters to her are like uh, Nita Cleaves, fast ones with a lot of damage, or like yeah. media teams. So, the, her, her biggest uh, issue is CC. If she gets CC'd, yeah. she, she, she cannot do anything, and yeah. she's gonna Which die. Lydia do that's like at the start of the battle, so yeah. she doesn't. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So Brinkel be became useless in Classic Arena, but as we said, uh, Championship and Guild Arena, she's still yeah. good. Uh, then we have Nicholas. He yeah, he fits in every team. Literally. Every team, yeah. You can use him in Cleave team in your like Lydia team, your yeah. Like, so thank you team and uh, everyone. Like he he can literally fit uh, any team. Like that uh, speed up shield uh, freeze. Yeah. Then if if they're frozen, then they're perma frozen, or or rather they yeah. can it cannot be yeah, cleansed. And at T3, that like yes yes that that passive is huge. Yeah, twenty percent more damage for like your attackers at E0. I think it's closer to to represent at E3 and. Uh, yes yes, and then that Santa Apple is so much hard to deal, especially like if you're facing uh, tanky teams. And when you barely get rid of Apple, and then they're back with thirty percent of HP, and like yeah. pretty pretty hard, pretty pretty hard to deal with. And last hero in S tier is Donald. So he is used to counter Lydia. I yeah. I yes. E three puts the shackle on Lydia, then she is first the only user S one, and yes. she can put the buffs or debuffs on anyone on the battlefield. And yeah, so mine is currently E2. It will take me like let's say three more rotation or even two. It depends how lucky or rather how lazy will I be to push uh, Elemental City or not. Uh, but yeah, E3 and if uh, enemy is using only Lydia as uh, their DPS, pretty much Lydia is locked. She can only yeah. she can only use uh, basic and that that's yeah. it. She she cannot do yeah. much. But like if Donald if it's even better at E4 and E5. True. Like E4, he gets like 40 percent piercing on his S2, and at E5 he counters whenever he is attacked. And yeah, that's so just huge. He's 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 so huge for for PvP. And but like yeah. if you're using dual DPS, like let's say Lydia and Melkia, then it's it's get uh, kind of tricky. Then yeah, but like Donald gets reduced damage. True. He's got the shackle on someone and like he heals if anyone else, but the shackle user like kills him for the first time. I think. Yeah, I I think that as well. So yeah, he's pretty pretty much overall such a such a great hero at at T3, especially in championship. I I don't see him much in classic arena. Yeah. I mean, I I saw few people using him, but he really shines in three v three or championship. Yeah, I mean he can probably get countered by Elik. 
so that Tr it takes the shackle true. instead true. of the DPS. But yeah, that's that's true. But I think it, it yeah, was maybe a bit bugged because I saw a picture of someone posting like Elik didn't take the shackle debuff. Yeah, something. it's 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 really so. For example, I know that when Elik has like uh, block debuffs on him that uh, the ally that he is protecting will get CC'd because Elik has uh, that block debuffs and he cannot be yeah. CC'd so that's kinda buggy that's kinda yeah. buggy yeah so guys that was it for today's video Ninja thank you thank you so much for, join for joining me yeah. that's a pleasure yeah and uh, see you guys in uh, next one bye